So it says we're live, so I guess I clicked on it, and then I was sitting here waiting for it to say something to me, and it wasn't even talking to me. So hello and welcome. Uh, today is Wednesday's Wisdom, and I'm just going to pull this up here, and we're going to have it across the bottom there. So how life can throw us curveballs. So I have a special guest here who has had some different curveballs thrown to her in her life. Hopefully it's come up on my phone here. Um, thrown, had some different curveballs thrown at her in her life. So um, she's just going to let us have a little chat with her and let her know, uh, let us know a little bit about her story. Uh, before we go any further, though, I'd like to thank everyone who's popping on here live with me. If you want to comment, uh, there's a link up above. If you've never been here before, never caught one of my lives before, it just says StreamYard. So I'm back on StreamYard today. And you just have to give it permission to see your profile picture and then you can join in the conversation. Your little profile picture will pop up on the screen and then I know who I'm having a conversation with. If you're coming in on the replay, do let me know where it is that you're coming in from as well. And I will give you a shout out after the fact. So welcome to my uh, community where I try and create a healthier you through healthier tips, uh, recipes, um, information, value. Hopefully all of those things can help you out along your health journey. And uh, I do that through coaching, mentorship, and accountability. So let's go kick those sugar cravings to the curb. And we're going to welcome our special guest here. Thank you, Chantel, for spending some of your day with us today and sharing some of your wise wisdom all the way from Ontario. And we are here in uh, Western Canada. I'm just home on my lunch break. I'm a nurse, if you didn't already know that. And I'm just, like I said, popped home for lunch. And I'm going to have a chat with Chantel. And uh, she can give us a little little bit of uh, her journey through her health journey and how things have, like I said, thrown life, life has thrown her a little bit of a curveball. So and how she's managing it. Yeah. Thank you, Heather, for having me on. Yeah, my Thank name you, is Chantel you. Gates. Um, and Heather and I have uh, recently become good friends um, through different resources. And But I want to thank you for uh, showing um that I have a little bit of a different story and a, a different personality and and just making me feel a lot very special because the last I don't know five years I've been really tough on me actually last seven years um when I was 37 uh, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and um uh, still is kind of emotional for me um so I got over that and uh I was stage three so I had to have rate chemo and radiation and and uh different medications for over five years um and which led to many many complications um with my ovaries and my spine um and my heart so then uh, a couple years later I was doing my last uh scan uh, on my heart and they noticed that I had a coarctation of my aorta, which means a narrowing of my aorta. And I uh, went for surgery at 41, normally at 40, oh. you die um, if it's not uh, detected. So I made 41. Oh, your puppy wants to be in the conversation. Yeah, he wants to be a part of the conversation. Bring him over, um, bring him over, what the heck. <laughs> so anyway, we're talking about balls and we have to work with that um so anyway at 41 i had uh, heart surgery they corrected the aorta and it was perfect it's working perfectly but as a complication to that to add to all the curveballs in my life uh i was uh, had a stroke to my spine and i was paralyzed so at 41 i was paralyzed which, you know, to most people would be devastating and uh, heartbreaking. But for me, I actually, it inspired me to help others. You know, once I healed and, and got myself to a, a good mental space, um, I started using it to inspire other people who had disabilities. Um, I'm a kinesiologist by trade. I have a, a kinesiology background and, and um, honors bachelor. And I worked in, in 20 years in the health industry, different rehab, doing functional training, um, seniors classes and the whole bit. So I actually just used my all my rehab on myself and got myself to a place where um, I can be healthier now and inspire other people to make healthier choices. You know, I'm, I'm taking a, a nutritional course right now to, uh, you know, collaborate what I already am doing. Um, and I've started doing uh, virtual classes one-on-one -on -one with clients. Um, if you can't, you know, because of the lockdown right now, we can't, uh, we can't really go one-on-one right. -on -one in person. So I can uh, do one-on-one -on -one and virtually, right. um, 
you know, to help people. And, and we do, you know, cooking classes as well and food prep and different things. So I'm trying to use um, my disability to help other people uh, just because that's who I am. I love to help people. And, you know, like you, right. we want to inspire people to make better choices. Right. So you've had to make a lot of modifications then to the education that you've learned through kinesiology to adapt them to your mobility issues, right? Absolutely. Um, some of the to things help with that your, because, and your clients as well. Yeah. Like because my legs don't work. Um, some of the things that I can do is have someone either stretch my legs passively, which means they're doing the motion and I'm just, you know, trying to connect my brain to my legs by, you know, mentally doing them. Or I can get on a type of elliptical bike, recumbent bike thing where I use my hands to move my legs and my legs are strapped in. And I get a really good cardio workout on my legs as well, doing either one of those. But to say, just kick your leg, you know, I won't be able to do that. So you got to modify and find things that will work to, to get you to, you know, like some of the times um, my workers, they could grab my legs and we do like bicycle type deals with my legs just to get my cardio yeah. going. You, you've got to do what you've got to yeah. do. So the other thing that you, uh, I do to get my, cause you know, the purpose of exercising is to get your heart rate up. And if you don't get it up for about 20 minutes, you know, not that you're wasting time because some is better than none, but um, you really want to work it so that your heartbeat is, you know, a significant raise above the norm. So, you know, some of the things I do is um, on my cable machine, I do some rows to get my heartbeat up or I do some punches, but I keep or I do some big arm movements so that I can keep up my heart rate. So those just, you know, even though I can't use my legs, I can still get my heart rate up. Or just wheeling around really fast, which is hard right now. So on your cable time. machine, on your cable, oh, sorry, I'm interrupting you. On your cable that's machine, cool. when you pull with your arms, does it move your legs as well? Oh, no, okay. no, it's that's just, cool. um, you know, a standing cable and, and you just pull it. Okay. Just like, it's not like a true rowing machine, but I make it into a rowing machine for me. Okay, Oops, ladies. There's Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Oh, hi, Thank Cindy. you for sharing some of your day with us today. That's awesome. Appreciate it, my friend. So you've had to really learn how to adapt some of your mobility issues so that you can, like I said, I was just going to ask you, how do you get a really good cardio workout when, when most people think of running or, like I said, moving their legs really fast to get their heart pumping? You've just had to use your brain a little bit to think in a different way and get things working, right? Yeah, I'm really blessed that I had chosen the field of um, rehab before this all happened it could, because, you know, now I can know what to do for myself, which in turn will help other people as well. So I was very blessed. I am very blessed. I, I just, um, I'm glad I have the knowledge that I have and, and I have some really good uh, friends that help me work out and uh, some clients that help me work out. So, you know, we kind of get a double double there. Yeah, and that's what kind of drew us together. We're both in the health field. I'm a nurse, you're a kinesiologist. We've both been through cancer treatment. We both had to learn to adapt to our, our functional abilities. My hands and fingers don't work. My feet don't work the same because of my uh, repercussion from having the chemo. I have neuropathy, and, and yours is just on a grander scale than mine. But we, we could either sit at home and feel sorry for ourselves, or we can do something about it and actually uh, make our lives fulfilling and, and, like you said, help other people as well. So with with your um, heart condition and 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 that do you have to be on a special kind of diet do you have to follow any kind of regime there um yeah i'm also diabetic since i've been in the chair because i can't get as much movement as you know right. an able bodied person um but i have been working on that um i have been doing more and more exercises as i get better and i feel better I, you know you, the more, the more you do, the more you feel better, right? Right. So um, I've been really working on honing in my own diet. It's not anything else. Um, I use it based on different ones like the Mediterranean diet, the paleo diet, the keto diet, and the low-carb um, diabetic diet. I kind of put okay. it all into my own custom um, diet where it's really high fiber, high protein, low fat, but good fats. Right. And um, 
very lots of good vegetables, not the starchy car carby ones, but the really good protein vegetables. Mm. I really and berries. Um, I really, really try to focus on that. And um, once a month, we do a vegetarian diet for a week, okay, uh, just to clean out and detox. And then right. we add in lean proteins in the three weeks after that. Good for you. And it Good just helps. You. You know, one of the issues uh, a paraplegic has is your bowels being bound up. Exactly. Yeah, I know that from being you know, a nurse. Exactly. So um, if I can continue, I have this made this special oatmeal without oatmeal in it. It's mm -hmm. all made of uh, chia seeds and uh, hemp hearts and flax seeds. Delicious. I love it. Yeah. So <laughs> I every morning I, I notice a difference if I don't eat that plus my greens in the morning. I, have, I make my green shake in the morning um, and have berries and my day goes smoothly. My digestion system with a great probiotic really, really helps um, move my bowels, which, you know, in turn, that's what you want because that can really cause a lot of problems for people who can't move, you know, as much as normal people do. Or so you really heal, you really worked on healing your gut health as well because of on the complications of being a diabetic now, throw that in the mix. Absolutely. And, you know, watching how, many, how much sugar is even from your natural fruits and vegetables. So you've got a really pretty good balance going on there, girl. Yeah, well, and it helps too. I, I've been taking a nutrition course to get certified so it can also help other people in this situation. Um, being, you know, a trainer for 20 years, I could give guidelines, but now at least I can have the, the certification behind me to actually give out uh, plans and stuff. So, uh, you know, it also has inspired me to do that. So I'm really, you know, excited and blessed you know like i said most people would sit in the corner and, and be depressed yeah. they got um you know paralyzed but for me it was you know a blessing and i have really good support my husband is amazing we travel everywhere um we've been to well not right now and we have some more company here a girlfriend from work here saying any suggestions on how to get started with meal prep and variety. I find it all very overwhelming to make that kind of change. Well, we can help you with that. And I can discuss Absolutely. a little bit with you about that after Nicole and um, get you online there with, with some ideas. And and thank you for asking that wonderful question because there's a lot of people out there that, that need a little bit of assistance there. They just feel like I throw up their hands in the air and they don't know where to start. So um, is there a few recommendations that you can throw out there for, for somebody that has a little bit of lim limited mobility like you said you have um, somebody to help you with your passive exercises um is there something that somebody else could maybe do on their own without having a partner to help them absolutely if you have hand weights at home or water bottles for free weights you can do all kinds of upper body trunk exercises arm exercises back exercises chest exercises that can definitely, you know, get you get your heart rate up. Ultimately, mm -hmm. if you have um, resistance bands or rubber bands or any type of stretchy material that you can do a little bit of resistance with, you have, you know, a whole world of good stuff in your house. Your broom, your broomstick can act as a, you know, um, a bar. Sorry. Yeah, she's really um, helping you. Oh yeah, <laughs> she wants it to be in the conversation. Me. Exactly. Is that, is that your, is that the puppy? Is that the no, new puppy? No, that's the big one. That's tiny. Oh, <laughs> she's jealous that you're talking to somebody. <laughs> that, and the little one is playing with the other little one. So oh, okay. they're just, uh, you know, encouraging them. We have an encouraging family, you know. <laughs> well, that's good to see. Yeah. Um, so you can also do um, different, um, you know, there's weighted kettlebells there. You could put sand in, in, in big water bottles and, and make it like it's a kettlebell. If you don't have kettlebells, um, there are weighted balls. You can just get a ball and do different, however, whatever you have in the house that you can lift, you can do any exercise at home. You know, if you want to, you know, PM me message me and, and I can give you all the modifications. Right. Um, I, I just like to customize it to each person. So I don't really want to give too many exercises right now because I, I don't know what issue. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you have a little treat for us here at the end. I think you have a little recipe or something to share with oh, us. Oh, yes. This, this is like 
the dream come true because I've been really watching my sugar intake and it's got some high fiber in it, but it's got a little bit of a sweetness to it, which, you know, after supper, you got to crave to that little bit of sweetness, even though it's not full sugar. So it's called banana brownies and they are very quick. Takes like 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your um, oven. Uh, So it's got six bananas. And I'll I'll pass on this recipe. Yeah, so yeah. We'll post we'll post it in the in the in the comments here after. Yeah. So six bananas, one cup of I use almond um, butter, but you can use peanut butter. You can use crunchy peanut butter. It doesn't really matter. Um, I use almond butter because it's a little more healthier for me. The right. fats are, are a little bit better. Um, I half a cup of cocoa powder. Now I get the organic kind that has m- more dark chocolate in it right. than the actual, but you can use any type of cocoa powder. And um, as a treat, if you want to put some dark chocolate chips in it, half a cup, or instead I use nuts. So I use walnuts or pecans or almonds just to give it that little bit of crunch. So Mm -hmm. 20 minutes to 40 minutes, depending on what your- um, your So there's no flour in it at all, no. No flour at all. Um, And you put it at 350 in the oven and it tastes consistency of a brownie, but has a little bit of a a banana bread taste to it. It's so delicious. It's kind of combination. Your mouth just goes "Mm," and it waters. It's just so delicious. And there's there's zero calories in there, of course, right? Very little, very little calories in it. (laughs) Well, that's good. Well, I appreciate you spending some of your day with me today and passing along all kinds of info to my people that are here listening to me and enjoying my content that I, I, I pass along. So um, if anybody has any questions here for, for Chantel, I can put in, in her information and people can get a hold of her. And if you have any questions for me, I can also help you set, set it, you up with a coaching call and, and those types of things. And we can work on a plan just for you as well. So, um, well, Thank now Jade, Jade's popping on here too as well, but. She's saying, uh, oh, uh, hi, some, some, yeah, sounds delicious, Chantel. So, yeah, we will we will pop the um, recipe in below after we're done here. And I wish everybody a, a good rest of the day, whatever time of the day it is for you. And uh, we will catch you all again on Friday in my kitchen at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, I guess I am. Uh, Western Can't Canada wait. time? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, healthy stuff in my kitchen. Well, maybe not so healthy, but kind of chaotic and we just have some fun. So enjoy your rest of your day, everyone. Thank you, Chantel. And we will go see you guys all later. Bye. Thank you, Heather.